Bump, bump, bump. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome back to your buddy Limoni. Limoni's back with another video. Limoni, Limoni, Limoni. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. It's Limoni right there with another fun filled video. Look at this hair. It's getting worse and worse. There's nowhere to cut your hair up here in Ontario. It's getting worse. Now, today, the government's announcing more shut, more lockdowns. See, before, we got the lockdown, and we got the stay-at-home order. And uh, before, you can do curbside pickup. Uh-uh-uh. As of today, no curbside pickup. Mm -mm. There's no curb. Things are out of control. Out of control. Curbside pickup. Uh-uh. I think it's only delivery now. So Amazon... You made a billion dollars. Not that I'm against them making a billion dollars. I, I, I order from Amazon all the time. I think this microphone came from Amazon. Yeah, it did. So, hey, listen. We're still open. We do food. So I think maybe you're going to be restricted to the amount of people we let into the place. So both the restaurant and the, and the shopping and the grocery and the bakery and everything, it's going to be cut. It's going to be cut. But it's still open. Still open. Skip the dishes. I don't know in the States if they got skip the dishes. I know they have. They must have something. We have skip the dishes, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. They're all doing a killing right now. Killing. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. So today, uh, well, originally I was going to talk about something that came up. Because, you know, we're always talking about business, non-essential businesses. Non-essential. So it got me thinking, let's dig deep. So we went on the government website. It's what's non-essential. And there's a long list, you know, hair salons and places like that. And included in this list is, uh, you know, uh, showmanship people like, you know, Foodie Beauty. Um, it doesn't say it like that. But, hey, listen, it's non-essential. And if you consider yourself a business, and as Ken Domic always says, this is a business. This is a business. Oh, Ollie, get over here. You're so damn cute. This is a business. So if it's a business, you're a non-essential. You shouldn't be out driving around making your videos and, and endangering other people's lives. And, and texting while you're driving and, and you know, you're going to crash and kill a family of three. Who knows? Who knows? You're endangering everybody, foodie beauty. Stay, the, stay home. Stay home. Stay safe. Save lives. So I originally was going to talk about that. And then, like, she's live all the time. She says, she's not going live. I'm going live. I'm not going live. I'm going to take a day off. And then she goes live. So today she came up with this. I ain't shitting oh. you. This is her today. Now, her Wait, comment section, I, I don't have it. I should have recorded the comment section, too. Was blowing. Look, at her, look how dirty her sweater is. God damn it. So look at her face. People we were don't like, really have like the only inside joke is hamburger eyes. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck hamburger eyes. Really, I mean, honestly. Hi Adele. Oh. She looks bloody horrible. Look at those eyes. Look at the eyes, chico. Look at the eyes. She looks terrible. She looks high. As someone get this lady help. She's gonna die on on stream one day. She's cooked. Like, if you see towards the end, here, let's see. Look, look at this. Look at this. That's not normal, guys. Look at this face. Listen, I, 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 I don't like to come on to this uh, Limoni channel. By the way, we need to have a vote. If we're going to change the name of the channel, uh, No More Sour Lemons YouTube Tube, we'll change it to it's just Limoni. The Limoni. That's it. Limoni channel. Right there. If you guys think we should change it just to Limoni, we'll do it. I'll do it. There's nobody else here except Ollie. I'm alone. I'm alone. <laughs> me and Ollie. Me and Ollie. So let, us, let me know. Right there. Just Limoni, I'll do it. If you, or if we keep it to Sour Lemons YouTube, tube, tube, whatever it's called now, we'll leave it there too. Look at that face. Look. She's cooked. She, she's cooked. She's cooked. Baked like bacon. Look at her. Come on. 
Wow, Foodie Beauty's baked. Now, I'm pretty sure still it's legal in Canada. But it's like alcohol is legal in Canada, right? Like alcohol is probably legal everywhere. But alcohol is legal in Canada. Just, just because it's legal doesn't mean I drink like, well, I don't have any booze around here. I got hot sauce. That's it. Hot sauce bottles. They're empty. Just because booze is legal doesn't mean I drink. Uh, are you lagging? Hello. Just because it's legal doesn't mean you drink two for three bottles of fucking vodka. You know what I mean? It's, you drink according, right? Like, you know, just because uh, marijuana is legal, drugs are illegal here in Canada, doesn't mean you go crazy and kill yourself taking edibles. You don't do that, man. It's like the buffet. I have a theory. You know, when you go to eat at the buffet, just because it's there doesn't mean you got to eat it. Right? Doesn't mean you got to eat it. Foodie Beauty's there, and she's low. <laughs> God, I, come on. That's terrifying. Look. <laughs> Holy crap. That's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. So, stay out home order, uh, lockdown, non-essential business. If, if her main income is YouTube, if her income is YouTube and this is her business, just like Ken Dominic says, it's a business, then she's not allowed to be out. Same with Ken Dominic. You're not allowed to be out also, asshole, because it's a lockdown. And now it looks dark. There's my window. I got to show you upstairs. There's the window right there. And uh, it's pretty dark outside, dark and gloomy. It's like afternoonish. The government's about to announce if they didn't announce it already. More restrictions. No more curbside pickup. Uh, the hours of operation are, they're going to cut it. Uh, less people inside the business. More restrictions coming. More safety stuff coming up. All because of people like Foodie Beauty and Ken Domic that refuse to listen and help out. And they're always out causing, you know, danger wherever they go. There's no reason to go traveling and uh, do these kind of videos. Ken and Foodie Beauty, no reason. Stay home. Stay, you know, order in. Order in. Oh, but I'm going to go date this guy. He's so fucking cute. And he's got a big penis like that. And... Just stay home for now. Just come on, you know, or have the guy come over your house, right? Go over his house. What the fuck? Go over there. S save lives. Anyway, let's go back to this video. It's horrific. It's, oh, that's what I was going to say. I never like to be like some of these other channels. I'm not putting anybody down. I love everybody. I love you all. But I don't like to say like, you know, like she's ugly or fat or disgusting or horrible i like to have a little bit of fun keep it light you know light but she, lately she's become uh a danger a danger texting while driving you know looking at you know even though you have it on speakerphone even though you have your cell phone on speakerphone you're not allowed to have it in your hand because it's a distraction it's a distraction right so this it's like oh i got I'm worse than food. Hey, listen, I'm worse than Foodie Beauty. You see dust flying everywhere here? Jeez. I'm worse than Foodie Beauty. I got I to gotta get me uh, full-time help. I need full-time help here. Somebody wants to come and help me clean up this house? I need full-time help. Anyway, she's become a danger. Not only to herself, but the people around her. You know, beep, beep, texting and driving and, and high as a mother, you know, high. Oh, I got so many edibles, so many edibles uh, and driving. So she's becoming a danger, a danger, danger to herself and to all of us here in Ontario. Maybe not so much you guys in America, but to us in Ontario, she's a danger. So I think it's about time we start reporting her. I hate saying shit like that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm born libertarian. Like, I don't believe in this stuff. But if you're a danger, you got to take got to take actions got to take actions look at that face look at that face if you fall into any of these groups please go to ontario.ca slash book vaccine to learn more about how your vaccine appointment may be booked 
Please listen to the list below to hear if you are eligible. Now, I think at this point of the video, she's trying to book an appointment for her um, COVID shot. And, um, you know, she's like saying high risk people or this and that. But here in Ontario, we, um, we don't have the vaccine. We don't have much vaccine. The little bit we do have, they're giving it to like seniors and those most vulnerable and stuff. I don't know how high on the list Foodie Beauty would be, but if she wants, if she wants Foodie Beauty, I'm not sure if you booked your appointment or not. If you want, go to any Shoppers Drug Mart, Shoppers Drug Mart. You can walk in, make an appointment at your local Shoppers Drug Mart. Please listen, pay attention, or any main chain drugstore. Whatever drugstore in Ottawa is the main chain. Here in, in the GTA, we have Shoppers Drug Mart. There might be Guardian Drugs, whatever it is. They don't have any right now, but it's going to be back in order soon, AstraZeneca. So if you're okay with AstraZeneca, book it at Shoppers Drug Mart. Other than that, if you go to any of the area local hospitals, and there's like, you're waiting forever, 500 people deep because they have no more vaccines. So... That's what you're looking at, Foodie Beauty. You look completely shocked. Apparently, you don't know the news. You know, she's funny. She's part of the problem. And there she is trying to get a vaccine. She's part of the problem. Ah, oh, fuck, Foodie. You're the best. using the provincial vaccine booking line. If you are turning 60 and older in 2021, if you are 50 and older... All right, we have to go back to the beginning. Let's hit it. Yeah, Victoria. Exactly. Like, honestly. We just bees. We just, like, I bees mostly with you guys than I even do on the Discord, honestly. I'm not, like, on there all day long. No, she is practically on all day long. And another thing, if, like, this camera here, because I use StreamYard, I encourage people to use StreamYard. If you have some extra cash to spend, upgrade the StreamYard to the higher, higher package. Not only do you get rid of this duck, well, he's a cute duck, but you can also upgrade to um, eight, uh, HK. Hello, HD, HK. High definition. Right now, this is at 720. That's, that's why it looks so crappy. It's because it's the free version because I'm poor. And uh, I don't have the money some of these big-ass YouTubers have. So if I had the, the uh, HD version, you can see on her face, I, this is not me being mean. I don't have the best-looking skin in the world. Look at this crap. You know? I don't have the best-looking skin. But you can see as she's rubbing her face, it's just like, I don't know if it's makeup from the day before or whatever. It's just flaking off. Pieces of her skin are disintegrating. Look at this. <clears throat> so that, I know I talk about guys a lot too. I'm going through stuff, you know. Thanks, Jana. You can only bees bees, Anita. You're ready, Karen. I beezed a couple of... What? Bees are... I do leave out my core. But how do you guys feel left out? Let me know so I can, like... What can I do about it? The giddy guy talk. So, exactly, Raquel. <clears throat> it's also that you prioritize. Are her viewers insane? Like, I was having this conversation with somebody else earlier today about her people watching it. Are, they, are these people insane? They feel left out. They want more of Foodie Beauty's life. We feel left out. We want more of your life, foodie. Tell us more. We, because look, we, we have nothing to look for, live for. We only have you, almighty foodie beauty. Please tell us more. I got to get this house cleaned up. Jesus, Murph. I see dust particles flying everywhere. Hmm. Foodie, maybe I'm just like you. I, I greet everybody. Well, I th that's how I feel, but um, some of your moms are really uh, There was 1,300 people when I recorded this. I, I, I can only take little snippets, and then I, I disappear. I'm not going to stay on and watch Foodie Beauty's life. 
the whole old five hours she's on or whatever it is. Crazy. Who's got that time? And what's so entertaining about watching this for hours? Uh, I answered all of you people. Huh? Hey, Beeson. Oh. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Seattle Low Carp. Hey. Hi, Joe and Dom Bishop. Hi. I say hi to everybody. What the f what kind of entertainment is that? To those who say they aren't super into so many lives. I'm not angry. I'm not I'm not angry to go up now. You guys can tell me how you're feeling, but um She does look angry. She looks angry all the time. Look at that face. Look at that face. Yeah, like I do these lives to include you guys. <laughs> You know how many times you got to say she's a hero? She does these live streams for you, okay? So she, please, please respect her. Please respect her, okay? She does these for you, for you. You should be honored. I'm honored. I'm honored. Today I was like, oh, my God, I'm foodie beauty's on just for me. Oh, foodie, thank you. This is your life. Two lives and recorded videos. Yeah, pesky. Like I'm just gonna do a um, you know, a mix. <clears throat> I know there's been issues with blocking bird nests. I most of my mods know what I like now. Um, I feel. Um, she has them under control. If you've been, she's got the mods under control. Sign that document, damn it! I got you. Feel the mighty roar of foodie beauty, Chantel. They understand what I want. I'm blocked. Just email me. I haven't gotten really to the emails yet. I will unblock everybody that's been blocked, you know. Um, I don't know, old mean. I guess I just at one point wanted to have a lot of mods because I was like a lot of trolls. Now I don't really, you know, I don't really care, honestly. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, and now to take people's wrenches away just seems like, you know, you only greet the names you recognize. I'm trying to be better with that, Elizabeth. <laughs> it's just because there's so many, you know? And then triggers. She's right. There are so many. And it's mind blowing. Am I jealous? Not really. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> you know, like she does nothing. She just sits in front of this the screen, you know, looking dopey and high as a motherfucker. She eats sometimes. You know, she's squ looking squinting at that fucking phone. Always looking angry. 11, 1200 people on live at a time. Look what I got. Wait, it's right there. Do you know how many people are watching me right now? Right there. One. One. Me. That's it. One person. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe when, when this is up, maybe there'll be more. Maybe there's more people here. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Not like foodie beauty. Victoria. Fast sister, I'm blocked on my main account, so can't really. What is your your name? People need to. What relax. is your name? <laughs> Sofa Cade. What is your name? Single message. I don't know. I've seen that. Like, you know. Why was old meat timed out? What did they say? Yeah, you guys don't have, I don't, like, you guys don't have to delete people, like, like I said, unless it's, like, super, super, super hateful against other people or whatever, just, I don't even care anymore, honestly. <laughs> Hi, Devin! Jay Watt, so good game, makes my funny up. Yeah. 
Oh, it was a mistake, old meat. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay, Jessica. It happens. Like, if you're, like, scrolling, you can accidentally touch somebody out for sure. Here. How is this possible? Just, she's sitting there reading names off. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Devin. Hi, Marie. Yeah. Hi, Samantha. Oh, I got hamburger eyes. I got hamburger eyes. That's the only thing I got. <laughs> hamburger eyes. Oh, hamburger eyes. How the... Jilly B. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't... I honestly don't mean to. I don't, like, just look at your comment and, like, overlook it. Well, these people are sick, eh? Like... Notice me, foodie. Notice me. Notice me. Why didn't you notice me? Notice me. You know, keep telling them to chill if they don't listen. I think they're better, getting better. Hi, Dove Kitty. You added me on Snap, Cat Queen. You remind them every stream when they make a mistake. Hi, Rose. Well, hopefully it will get better over time, you know? They don't know what I want to do. I'm always changing, like, block this person, block that person. But, um, can you have the mods go through? I'm hoping YouTube shuts down her channel soon. Soon. I don't understand what it adds to the platform. I don't understand what value it brings. Okay, we were... If you rewind right here, back to the three-minute mark when I was... I, I get thrown off... Very easy. Very easy. I've been up all, I've been up for like 20 hours right now. It's like crazy how busy I am. But right about there, if you rewind right there in the three minute mark, I was trying to say something and now I forgot again. You see what I'm saying? How easy distracted I get? How easy. <laughs> what? You're, that's really, really cute. Okay, let's see. My mouth, uh, I think I am dehydrated, not dehydrated, but thirsty because I. Her people care about her. You see, they're worried about her. They're worried about her. She's high. She's taking too much edibles, too much of the marijuana. She might be dehydrated. They're worried. They worry she's going to be sick. I heard in one of the streams that one of the. Viewers were gonna call nine one one to send an ambulance to rescue her. Hi, you stink. Yeah, you imagine the cat stinks. Do you know why the cat stinks? Because everything around the cat stinks. So Ollie, Ollie, if you see Ollie, okay, he's spotless, spotless. Someone commented earlier today and uh, said, "Oh my God, your cat." is spotless he's spotless all right not only does he like taking the, i give him a night we're not we're not weirdos we don't take a bath we don't take a bath together but i give him a nice bath i brush him a hundred times a day his coat is beautiful i vacuum all the time this floor is clean i'm joking about upstairs i'm joking there was a few dust particles. i'm kidding i'm kidding keep the cat clean and he smells great he smells great he smells great do you know why the cat smell, your cat smells horrible, Foodie Beauty? Because you stink and your house smells and you got shit all over the floor that even you're, when you're walking, it crunches, crunch, crunch. That's why that poor cat stinks. Fuck, around here we have the Toronto Humane Society. I, would, if you were, I don't know if they have a Humane Society in Ottawa. Someone should call them. Go rescue that poor cat. Rescue that cat. That's why the cat smells. And in this, like, there's like another 45 minutes. I don't think we want to watch too much of her. But she goes on to say the cat smells like four or five times. Oh, you stink. Oh, you stink. Yeah, it's because you stink. Foodie Beauty, Chantel Marie, you stink. Your house stinks. Okay? If, if the management there at the townhouse complex walks in, you're out of there. You're out. You're out.
What was that? What's wrong with this woman? Look at her. Okay, like I ain't kidding you. There's like 40 minutes left of her. I don't know how long you guys can stomach her. My comments are missed too. Just too many people. <laughs> Sorry. If I had to call, yeah, if I try to say hi to as many people as I can, but then, you know, it's just. You imagine these people, their, their life is getting, saying hello to Foodie Beauty. Like they're watching her and fuck, they're calling each other on the, hey, hey, Foodie's on. Foodie's on. I ain't shitting you. Yeah. You know, I, I said, uh, in Limoni, hi. I want to say hi to Limoni. Oh, she said hi to me. Holy shit, she said hi. Oh, what's wrong with you people? It's like, I would be saying hi all stream. Hi, scissor sister. <laughs> Lizzie. Hi, serendipitous. I feel like a snot bag today. Why are you a mod if you never delete? Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. It's not delicious. Mm. See, the, the, the joy of using StreamYard, StreamYard, powered by StreamYard. Hey, if you want to do a vlogging channel or, you know, a live stream channel, consider using StreamYard, powered by StreamYard. And I'll tell you why. Because if you ever need to blow your nose, it's pretty cool. You have two or three different places that you can press to, to mute the sound. Watch this. Watch. Did you hear any of that? No. Because I use StreamYard. And also, this is what I'll do. I'll change. I'll put the video onto something else. There you go. Oh, you can watch that. And as I'm there, I'll press mute. There. Did you hear me blow my nose? No, you did All not. Right, do you think I should order a whole bunch of stuff? Clothes or should I wait? Oh, fuck. We want to. Please. I hope your people tell you order the clothes. What are you going to wait for? So you might not make it to 40? Come on. Holy mackerel. I need to upgrade. I got to start. You know what? Maybe I should have a fundraiser or something. Help Limoni. If you want to help Limoni, turn this video screen into HD help out by sending some money. $2 if you can, 3 if it, if you got more to burn. So I can upgrade this to HD. How about that? Hmm? HD quality for you. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. Huh? What do you think? We'll have a we'll have a fundraiser, yeah. Like, should I buy a three X if I plan on losing more weight soon? What weight is she? Is she planning on like eating edibles to keep her high so she burns doesn't eat? I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But. Um, I don't know what weight she thinks she's going to lose. I don't know. You know, like going down. Mike. I put people in time out. Thank you, Leslie. Just stick with only Joe. He has to order more clothes. Hi, lazy days. Uh, too many highs. No, I can't make everyone happy. Hi, Kira. I'm okay. Um, Jillian, hope you're feeling better soon, beauty. Thank you, Jillian. Thank you. <laughs> Lynn Pearson. I adore you. You have no reason to change anything. If you want to talk about boys and escape with edibles, thank you. I think these her viewers want to see her dead. They want they encourage her to take edibles. They encourage her to eat. Do you know why? Hey, I have a theory. Okay, there could be two theories. I watch Nick Nimmin, and Nick Nimmin is a YouTube genius, and he says YouTube is cleaning up the subscribers of every channel. Not just Foodie Beauty, uh, Limoni, and, and any other. It, it'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually. So what happens is um, 
YouTube, it, it looks at your subscribers and says, you know, these subscribers, they are subscribed, but they haven't been active in X amount of years or months, whatever they've determined is the, the right amount of time. And they'll delete them. This is from YouTube. So if they see you got like 5,000 subscribers, but 2,000 are like, they don't do nothing. They don't comment. They don't like, they don't dislike. They don't watch the video. They're gone. Gone. YouTube is clear. This is a fact. You know, I heard Nick Nimmin talk about it. I forgot which video, but it, it, it must have been Nick Nimmin talking about it. They're going to clean up all these uh, subscribers that are, you know, garbage subscribers or maybe they're even bought. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Then, so that's number one. That's number one theory. The number two theory of why she's losing subscribers is because her subscribers want to see her be a pig. They want to see her eat like a fucking pig, make a mess of herself, get fat, become disabled, and die. That's what they want. So they're not getting what they want, and they're, they're leaving. So Foodie Beauty's got to make a choice. You know, she's going to try and do this direction where she's going to eat edibles and get high and do uh, uh, fucking try-ons and, and try and get that crowd. And if it fails, she's done. Because, or she goes back this way and eats like a fucking pig and, you know, does like, um, like, like, you know, like Hungry Fat Chick or uh, Nick Avocado, whatever his name is. I can never say it, right? You know, Avocado, Avocado, whatever his, his name is. And where they eat like pigs. Because a, a Nick Avocado video, I, was, I just saw one today with Hungry Fat Chick. Just posted not long ago. It's like six, 700,000 views. And you think Foodie Beauty doesn't notice this? She notices it. So this is the, where she's going through right now with the subscriber base. I know people are having, making videos and like, why well, we think she's losing subscribers? Well, there's two reasons. One, YouTube is doing this to everybody. And eventually, it happens to every channel. I think I lost like 10 subscribers last month, 15, maybe more. Who knows? They're slowly coming back. But I think it's because they, they're not active and YouTube cleans them up. And I think that's what's happening with Foodie Beauty. And top of it all off, she's not giving what her subscribers want. And that's to see her kill herself with food. So that's what she's up against right now. So she's trying to tell her people, do you want to see me try some clothes and buy 3X and blah, blah, blah? No, they want to see you eat like a fucking pig and die. They, they're not your friends, Chantel. They just want to see you be a pig. I definitely don't want to do as many edibles as I did last night. That's just not even enjoyable. I was like flipping out. You know, I got... I got where we are located, okay? One of the restaurants we operate next door, not too far, is um, uh, a marijuana store, okay? Marijuana store. And I talk to the people who work there all the time. And they say, if you're going to do, if you're gonna do marijuana, smoke marijuana. Like, do dope, smoke it. Uh, please, smoke it. Because it's more predictable. And they sell edibles, but they don't want to encourage. Like he said, buddy, I don't want you to, like, don't do the edibles because they're unpredictable. You can eat one or two and be, like, wrecked. Or you can eat, like, six and you may say, oh, I don't feel anything. But then later on, it's going to hit you hard. Edibles are un predictable so that's why this lady's in big trouble she wants to keep the like i think she almost died the other day people were trying to say to pete's take her to the hospital or something and somebody was going to call 911 because she looked terrible she looks terrible now she's got to understand that edibles are unpredictable listen that's what we were going to talk about remember before when i said burp, 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 right there two minute mark i forgot what i was trying to say and now i remembered even though, Mar even though drugs are illegal here in Canada, YouTube, I don't think, likes to have it on their platform. I don't think it's legal on YouTube to promote marijuana or drug use. And I don't understand why YouTube allows her to get away with this shit. Because lately, all she does is talk about edibles. All the 
time. Here she said, oh, I don't want to take as much as I did yesterday because I had no fun. Oh, I'm going to not take as much edibles. By the way, hi, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the comments. Love you guys. Age, sex, location, yes. Um, salted caramel, yeah. Hi, Ruby. <clears throat> yeah, well, I did have a, I don't know if I had like a rogue mod before. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, that does happen. What is, to oh, Torrid Cash. I have to check if I have any of that. I probably do. I mean, I order from Torrid all the fucking time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ivy McLean. My lunch hour bees in? <sighs> so I love how, I know I bring it up all the time. She bores herself. She bores herself with her fucking content. It's so, look at her. She bores herself. That guy messaged me, that Moroccan guy. <clears throat> he wants to meet up. You know. I don't know if she's really totally smoked out of her mind or she's just trying to figure out how to make up more, make up more shit. Because she doesn't look well and she's looking at the ground. Uh, yeah. He called me. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's like watching Charlie from Sunny in Philadelphia. But um, she's baked, and she's trying to make up stories. This is terrible. How do you people watch it? I keep saying I want to do story, do stories like Foodie Beauty too. She tell, hey guys, it's your buddy Limoni, and um, I'm on some dating websites right now, and uh, I got some dates coming up. Uh, I'm talking to this one girl, and she seems very cool. Uh, she's okay with, you know, with the three kids and everything, and she's all right. Uh, she she seems pretty fine with everything, and I tell her I haven't dated in a long time, cause, and uh, she's ready. She we're gonna meet. We're gonna meet tomorrow, and. Um, I'm going to let you guys know how it goes. It's very exciting. She's really cool. She's really cool. I met her on uh, one of the dating websites here in Canada, and uh, she's awesome. She's awesome, and I can't wait to meet her. And um, she told me the other day that uh, she likes to have fun, and uh, she's really, really cool. And uh, she said, you know, what kind of uh, alcohol I like to drink, and, you know, I love vodka and great goose, and she said she'll buy it. and. You know, I told her I can take her out for a five-star dinner at the restaurant and don't have to worry about it. And she said, no, she wants to pay for it because that's how it is. You know, she seems so cool. She told me she's, um, she's Canadian, but she's originally from Libya, and which is pretty awesome. She's a Libyan Canadian. And uh, I think we're going to have a good time. I'm going to let you know how everything goes. I'm going to get ready for the date later on and... Um, I'll keep you guys informed on how my date goes with this uh, girl and um, this, what did I say she was again? Libyan or Moroccan? Why? Well, anyway, this girl I'm dating and I'm not dating yet, but we're going to meet for a restaurant and, and I can't wait. Ooh. These are such cute PJs, aren't they? It's not an old world. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I just want to. So now her viewers are getting entertained by her shopping on it. Like, I'm, I want to look for a sofa. Like, I have furniture in the other room. The sofas everywhere. I got futon sofas. I got shit upstairs. Maybe in the, I'll do another video right after this one where I'll show you upstairs. And But uh, I wanted to get a sofa for here. I want to get rid of this TV.
this 1986 uh, TV that I used for Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and I want to get a, a sofa from and now Leon's. It's don't pay the tax event. So is it okay if I go on, you know, and uh, we're gonna shop for Leon's? We'll look for sofas. Is that exciting for you guys? Uh, let's uh, go. Oh, I'm looking at sofas. Oh, nice. Oh, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. Yeah. How is this entertaining? How is it entertaining watching a person on a live stream shop? Get some Moroccan sausage. Can you book your vaccine in Canada? You can't. You can't even book it yet. I don't think. Okay. There's stages. Right? It depends on what area you live in. Like Toronto, like York Region is very aggressive. York Region, is Woodbridge, yeah, Newmarket, all this. Uh, my brother lives in, in York Region, and he got vaccinated yesterday. And they're very aggressive. They're trying to uh, uh, vaccinate everybody. Uh, so yesterday they started doing 45 and up. So they started with like 75 and up, uh, then 65 and up, and so on, so on. You get the picture. So yesterday, they started doing 45 and up. They're very aggressive. But, but in Toronto, we're having a hard time because it's hard for we're five, you know, the GTA is like six, seven million people. It's a big, maybe eight million. Who knows? It's the general Toronto area is huge. And we're having a hard time with um, getting the vaccine. So right now, because it's a, you know, we're having a hard time with the vaccine, they're still at like, I think, 60 five and up or 55 and up. And as the, you know, you can book your appointment as it comes available. Now this is the, the kicker I want to talk about with this Foodie Beauty. If you remember correctly, Foodie Beauty, there she is, Chantel Marie. She has this very great relationship with her doctor. Do you remember when the doctor called her and booked like they're like best friends and the doctor called me up and said, I'm going to book your, 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 your weight loss surgery right now. And she's like kept her on the phone and they're best friends. And she's given her fucking uh, information that I've never heard a doctor give in my life. So why not just call your fucking doctor? You're such in a good relationship with this doctor. Why not call your doctor? Right? It's that simple. And they'll tell you when you can, can make your appointment. It's simple. Now she's too busy going around town uh, avoid uh, ignoring stay-at-home orders and lockdown so she doesn't give a shit what's going on in the news she doesn't give a shit she just spreads spreads yeah you can book your appointment if you're in the appropriate stage of your your community in the ottawa area it's it's uh it's i think it's one of the most uh contaminant the contaminants is that the right word they're having a hard time right now with, with COVID cases in the Ottawa area. So I think they're being aggressive in the Ottawa area with vaccines. So she might be able to get an appointment. Now, here's the kicker. I think she's under 40, so she won't be able to get it. But Shoppers Drug Mart, you can go there and book it. If you're not scared of the AstraZeneca, I know my American friends, you're probably scared of AstraZeneca because I think it got banned in America. I think. Not just in America, and a few other places too. Here in Canada, we'll take anything because we don't have we. We're gonna start making our own vaccines in 2026, probably when everybody's dead or this is over. But well, if you get if you're not scared of AstraZeneca, you can book an appointment at Shoppers Drug Mart as soon as possible. Oh, and I'll tell you what, foodie, if you're watching this, I'll tell you what you can do. You're such a caring woman. You love your grandmother and your mother so much. Make here's a trick. It's a Canadian trick, and it works 99.9% .9 of the time. Make an appointment for your mother because your mother's in the appropriate age or your grandmother. They're in the appropriate age. Go with them. And when you're with them, if you tell them that you're family, they'll give it to you as well. I know this because I know so many people who've done this. They've gone with family members and said, oh, they live with me, and they say, fine. And they give you the vaccine. So, foodie, do that. So they are giving vaccines in Canada. The only problem is you're not, you have to be in the appropriate age group and you have to be in, a, in the appropriate area. So in Toronto, we're struggling. But in York Region, they're gangbusters. I think they're already at 45 plus, And they're doing all the teachers. They're doing all the people. Personally, they should have done all the people who work in food. So that way we don't get sick and we don't contaminate your food.
But anyway, I'm not the smartest uh, tool in the shed. So let's go, footy. Let's get him. Let me check. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> I don't think changing food addiction to a drug addiction is progress. Uh, thanks, Jessica, for the super chat. I am so far from a... I'm not an addict. I'm not a... You know who says that? An addict. Right? Who says that? An addict. She just, she knows yesterday she gobbled up too many and today she gobbled them up again. Well, yes, I did way too many. So today I'm going to do only, instead of 10 edibles, I'll do eight, and maybe nine. Mm, fuck it, I'll do 10. Yeah, that's called an addict. And believe me, she still has a food addiction. You think she's not eating food? Give me a break. Weed addicts. Like, I could totally go without it. Like... <laughs> But, um, no, I don't have a drug addiction. You know. So. This is so entertaining. I do have an addictive personality. Yeah, I do. And I tend to go overboard, like, with everything I do. Um. She changed her name of her channel. Here's another thing why YouTube should fucking strike her. YouTube, look at this. Uh, are you kidding me? I got dust everywhere in this. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm going to end this live stream and I'm going to go clean the house. I'm going to go clean the house. This is terrible. How embarrassing. Sorry, guys. See what happens? It's just me and Ollie here. What do you want? I don't know. Ollie. Anyway. You in my life, so. Now, what do you want to do today? We have the whole day and the whole weekend. And then I have to get serious about life. <laughs> She laughs after everything. That laugh is so annoying. So annoying. I don't know how people find this entertaining. I don't. I don't. I don't know how you people like, like watching this shit. <sighs> oh, my God. I always put everything off until tomorrow, and then tomorrow comes. So I've decided, I think I like just talking to that guy the Croatian guy. Can I, can I stop you for a second? And so being in the GTA, you know, we have a big Croatian community and I, I have a lot of Croatian friends, you know, and I'm going to show them this video tomorrow and I would love to see their reaction. There's no way some Croatian guys going after you. Fruity. He wants to call me like every single day. So you don't take care of yourself. You don't, you don't take regular baths or showers. I don't know, whatever you have, to, whatever you can fit in. You don't ha have clean clothes. You smell like your cat. Your house is disgusting. You eat like a pig. But yet you are a sex symbol for men everywhere. We are going insane. Insane. Like my issue right now is I'm on these dating websites and I'm looking for foodie beauty. I'm like... You know, there's my mother next to me. That one's very nice. And Ma, please, she doesn't look like Foodie Beauty. You, does she look like Foodie Beauty to you? Well, maybe she's going to grow into Foodie Beauty. You feed her. You can make a pasta. You can make a pasta. Ma, please, what do you know? What do you know? She's th that's not Foodie Beauty, okay? So maybe that's the issue. All of us guys are going nuts looking for Foodie Beauty. Look, see? Sorry. Sorry. No. Click. No. 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 No, where's Foodie? Fuck, there's nobody who looks like Foodie Beauty. That's our fucking dilemma. For you know what, like, 
So seeing the Illuminati yesterday. Uh... See how the edibles are kicking in harder now? You see her slurring a little bit. You see her like her eyes are like getting a little bit like like that. They're getting a little bit worse. That's edibles. That's edibles and it gets you all the time, man. I don't think I didn't see anyone get deleted though. Wait, was I looking at the chat? <clears throat> I don't see anybody get deleted. And don't forget, oh What the hell? <clears throat> it says I ti that I timed them out for... What? I don't remember timing anybody out. Again, it's because she's high. It's She's high and she can't... She doesn't know what she's doing. That's the problem. By the way, I look, this light is like making me white, like a ghost. Woo, scary. Woo. Maybe I should have turned on the other light. I thought it'd be like these other YouTubers, you know, with them, uh, with their cool setup and shit. And I'm like, I got, I can't believe this. People just post garbage and they get thousands of views. I work hard and I'm not, I'm not, jealous. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm, I'm calm. I'm good. I'm happy with everything. I'm very happy with my life. I can't find foodie beauty, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll find the foodie beauty in my life. Oh, did I time out accidentally by touching it? If that happened, Jessica, I'm sorry. Why would you want a casual long distance? The police are watching. Oh, okay. Well, good for them. I don't know if I want to go for a drive or not. <clears throat> How about... No, you don't go for a drive. It's not even a fucking question. Uh, you're blitzed. You're bombed out of your mind. Look at you. You want to go for a drive? Now the Ottawa police need to watch out. Okay? It's enough with the texting and driving. Beep, beep, beep. You know? Yeah, it's on, it's on speakerphone. But you're still, you can't have it in your hands. It's still a distraction. And now you want to drive when you're obviously, you're still cooked out of your mind. Okay, now the Ottawa police need to be called. And also, Ontario Workmen's uh, situation here, you know how you can't be open if you're a non-essential business. She's also a non-essential business. If you go by Ken Domic's way of thinking, this is YouTube, it's a business, then it's a business. It's your primary source of money. It's a business. You're not allowed to be out. Okay? Don't drive. I saw your email, old meat. That's okay. <clears throat> That's all right. <sighs> She's so fucking bored with her own shit. <laughs> um... Dark Queen, you can tell some of you never get invited out anywhere. Mix from the six. I got the giggles. I always do. Archana. Great. By the way, that was somebody from Toronto. Nick's from the six. When you, our friend from the, from, I sound like Foodie Beauty. I'm slurring too. I, I'm not drinking or anything. I'm not drinking. I honestly, I don't even have water today, right now. Fuck. Brr, slurring. When you ever hear someone call it the six, that's Toronto because of 416. We're too lazy to say 416. We just say six. That's Toronto. Six equals Toronto. So someone from my city is, you know. I'm just taking channel. a bit of a break, but I'll be back. So unbothered. Yep. Troll overload. <laughs> I know, Marissa. Life and stuff. Hey, girl, stop beezing. Stop beezing. So. I'm going to drive my car <laughs> recklessly and kill yeah, people. I, know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I might even run over pedestrians. Jabba. I'll eat some more edibles before I drive. 
<laughs> it depends on your tolerance, though, Reginald. Like, some people need, like, 300 milligrams of edibles, you know? It's like you build a tolerance. No, no. You don't build a tolerance. You, it's unpredictable. Fuck this lady. It's unpredictable. Don't drive. You know what I mean? No, you don't. Whenever you have to be weary when people say that shit to you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I always get weary when people say that to me. You know what I mean? Mm. Drive around. It is early. I, we could go for drives. I Someone call the cops. Because before I made the decision that, I, you know, it's we can't meet up with people right now um, because of COVID. I said I would meet up with him, but now <laughs> I have to tell him that. You know? Really, Jake? Yeah, maybe if I, like, micro-dose, but... Oh, fuck these. These. I... 75 milligrams. So my reasoning for last night was I took one of these the night before. 75 milligrams. Felt absolutely nothing. So... It's because it hits you later, lady. Who sold you these? They should explain it to you. They should explain it. Just smoke dope, huh? How about that? Just smoke it. You can't handle this shit. So, um, that's what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to see. So I took one whole one, a half, another half of this, and a 30 milligram, uh, uh, this lady might overdose. That's what I'm worried about now. This lady might OD right now. Listen, you're, I'll tell you why. She's in poor health. She's in extreme poor health. Add all these edibles and it's, it's, it's a recipe for disaster. Recipe. 30 milligram one. So... I'm gonna drive and kill Out of people. The cold. I have allergies. You imagine the entertainment personified. She bores herself. No. BB has a new woman. Why, why, why do people think that would bother me? Like, I'm obviously talking to other men. So why would I be bothered by BB having a new woman when I broke up with him? I don't understand. I'm not sure if she broke up with him or the other way around. I think there's a video coming up by a big-time YouTuber that will show what's happening. I, I hope it's coming out soon. That, that logic. I hope he does. I hope him and Pete get new girlfriends ASAP. <laughs> okay, should I get some... Uh, what should I do? Are we staying in? I hope they find new girlfriends. Like, like she was the, the prized possession. Like, she was it, man. You guys can't get better than me. And that goes back to my problem with the dating website. Let's see. Is there... Fuck, no. She's way too skinny. That one there has too much makeup. Oh, my God. That one there. Shit, 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 shit. This one here. Mm -mm. No, she don't look like Footy Beauty. She doesn't look like Footy Beauty. Way too skinny. No. 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 Fuck. Footy Beauty. It's Footy Beauty or nothing. That's what I say. Footy Beauty or nothing. Blickety block, block, block. Yeah, I'm the one who ended the, like, initiated the conversation to break up. I love when people lie and they, like, I told them to, um, I broke, initiated the breakup with him and, uh, liar. I don't even know if we would be broke up if we were. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know Lola baby. She's really, yeah, she does try some good places, but um, let's do something. What should we do? Yeah, I'm glad we're, we're not together because I just feel like I'm excited for the future that I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I have like so many things I want to do. Um, Owens live past 42. That you should be worried about. Holy crap. That is terrible. All right, with that, I'm going to... There's still like an hour to go, and we're already at one hour. Fuck's sakes, one hour. Timer says one hour. We've done enough. It's terrible. If, if we let this play, it's going to go to two hours. She's terrible. And now she wants to go murder people on the street. You know, that's another problem. So I know as we were talking earlier with a friend of mine, and the, my friend's like, oh, she's like a threat to... Uh, People on the streets, no. It's a threat to pedestrians too. Because, uh, you know, she loses control uh, on the sidewalk to a bus shelter, a bunch of school children. Well, there's no school right now, but you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, Foodie, I, I can't take you no more. Can we wrap this up? It's okay, Sofa King. You can go back to work. Yeah. So, yeah, the Croatian guy wants, he's like, can I call you? And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> So she imagine she's so upset that she has all these guys calling her. You know, she's oh god, another one wants me, another one. Fuck sakes, man. Another one. Look at that. Another one. Fuck sakes. Fuck sakes, foodie beauty. You're so yeah, lucky. She wants to call me like soon. But should I just make up an excuse and just hang out with you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Coffee and a stroll? Joe was right. What are we talking about? You guys have conversations I'm not even a part of. Include me. Oh my God, this lady's baked out of her mind. <clears throat> not every breakup needs to be nasty. Yeah, I mean, we're still like friends. I mean, I haven't talked to him in like a little while, actually. Um... I told him I'm starting to, like, this was a little while ago when I thought things were going to go okay with, like, you know. So, I'm like, I'm starting to, like, date around or, like, talk to men, just so you know. I don't know. Should I have even told him that? Like, what's yeah. the point? Yeah. I, I, I would love if somebody can get a hold of this guy and interview him. I would love. I would pay to interview this guy. I would pay. BB, that's your name? I don't know because I never watched one video with you in it. Um, send me a message, sour thirty six at gmail dot com. I will pay you for an interview. Tell me how much you want. Take BBJ out. Hi Annie. Duh. My brother is a big fan. Happy birthday, Alok Narula. Hi. <laughs> I love cats. What did he say? He just said, oh, okay, that's cool. Why would your brother, why, why would you be a big fan? What exactly is Foodie Beauty doing to change your world or life or what? She fails at weight loss. She doesn't ever... She, oh, I'm not going to take a day off. And boom, she's live streaming. She lies all the time. She's not very, like, I, you know, I wouldn't want my daughters to look up to her for nothing. Like, I don't know what possesses people to say, my brother's a big fan. I don't get it. That's what he said. I'm not taking it. <laughs> Kristen Michelle. Uh... Oh, clean my house today. Do you have any allergy meds? No. 
Hi, Mike. <laughs> uh, it's too early for edibles. Oh my God, yes. <sighs> Tell us a funny story. Hi, Sarah and Maura. <laughs> Krista, I know. I know me too. Like my Fashion Nova stuff is just like in my thing. Never too early for it. It makes me happy to see you have so many followers. Thank you, Vera. <clears throat> These people are all insane. Okay, let's wrap this up. Thanks, my everybody. My eyes look like hamburger eyes. Yeah, she's got hamburger eyes. Let's see. Fast forward. Yeah, look, look, more entertainment. She's bored by her own content. Bad skin. She's got bad skin. As I was telling you before, it's flaking skin right is off. A look at her. Process. You need to wash. Yeah. Gee, her. She needs to wash. So and look, she's uh, she's yawning again. Exfoliate, moisturize. Yep. Oh, normal things, bad. normal hygiene. Look at her, normal hygienic shit. Look at this. Wow. Tell me you're not like turned on by that. God. Listen, I'm gonna get a haircut. I'm gonna work out some more. You know, look, I'll do weights. I'll lose some weight. I'll jog every day, and I'm not gonna eat less chips. No more chips. By the way, here in Canada. Look, flavors from India, magic masala, masala from Lay's, product of Canada. Isn't that cool? Flavors, flavors from India. And um, it tastes like uh, eating boiled eggs. That's what it tastes like. All right. It's not bad. I'm kidding. Let's wrap it up, foodie. 18 to 49. BMI. Ugh. It's just endless barrage of her nonsense doing nothing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, uh, Foodie Beauty's a threat to us all. She's a threat to us all. She's going to get in that car. She's stoned. She's going to text while drive. You know, she's going to run over a few people. Who knows? She's a threat to us all. If you see her out there, report her to the Ottawa police. She's also breaking the law because she's supposed to be a not, she's a, a business and she's a non-essential business. You're not supposed to be out. It's a lockdown. Look at her. Lawbreaker. And heartbreaker. She's also a heartbreaker. Can't believe this. I'm, I can't believe it. She's a heartbreaker. I'll, just can't believe it. Can't find anybody. It's useless. Countless, countless websites. I, Garbage. Facebook, there's so many. Garbage. Can't find anybody like Foodie Beauty. I dream of her. Look at this. Watch this. Look at that. You tell me. Tell me. Are there any guys here in, in the section? I don't know how many people are left. This, this is a long video. If any guys, tell me. That drives you nuts, right? Look at that. God damn, she's... Oh, look at those beautiful eyes oh <sighs> this is tough for me guys emotionally tough can't find anybody like her thanks for watching everybody like subscribe share don't forget my friends the real crochetter real crochetter if you're here love you man stay strong brother i know it's tough right now out there in vienna stay strong stay strong you know this is shit's gonna be over soon we're all gonna have fun one day Maybe one day, everybody, you're all invited. Come over here. We'll have a big party. Big party. Big party. Big party. Barbecue here. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Foodie Beauty goes on to try and get an appointment, which is ridiculous. Here she is trying to get an appointment. Hi, TP. She's trying to get an appointment for her uh, AstraZeneca injection. Or Pfizer. Look at her. She can't keep her eyes open. I need a coffee. Do you somewhere. imagine this lady in a fucking car? Do you imagine her in a car? This is ridiculous. It, YouTube, like, why is she allowed to broadcast on your platform? YouTube, why? Why? This is mind blowing. Report her to the police if you see her in Ottawa. Uh, she's a threat to us all. Like, subscribe, share to this channel, to the real crocheter. 
um, to my friends, FBRC. I know he's, he's busy. He's a busy guy. He's not here, but he's busy. And everybody else, uh, Joe and Don and all our other friends, subscribe to them. Subscribe and uh, let's have fun. I like good channels. Good channels that do, that do good work, I enjoy. And I enjoy those guys, especially the real crochetter. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Help this channel grow. And uh, one day I'll have enough money to uh, upgrade the StreamYard to get uh, HD quality picture and sound. In the meantime, Foodie Beauty, take it away.